we must always remember that the importance of dignity is constitutionalized. It's constitutionalized because of the fact that once your dignity is stripped of you, the damage that you sustain is irreversible. That is why you find an old person who argues against the removal of the red line. If your dignity is removed for a sufficient period of time, you learn to live without it. And you learn to accept that this is just how things are. So be very slow to brand an old person a coward or someone who is pusillanimous just because they don't support the removal of the red line. They have been searched and dehumanized for such a long time. Some of them were actually stripped naked at those points. So they, to them, being searched and being told to disembark from a motor vehicle, that's minimal damage because they sustained wars. Which is why I'm saying central to this case is your right to dignity, your humanity. That's core. That it's what it does to you over a long period of time. What it does to your children. I think most of us, when we come to Washivelo, we, we are preparing ourselves to be in, in, <laughs> interrogated, searched, harassed, just being given these arbitrary instructions as if you are a small child. To the point when you, are, when you pass Washivelo, it's like you, you are relieved that, oh, I'm through. That's how, that's the damage that we have sustained as a result of passing all these years through Washington. Which is why even there are these youngsters who say, guys, just leave that thing, will not fall. Because they've accepted. It's why we say the importance here is dignity. Before meat, before animal product, before export, it's what is the perpetual and permanent damage that you are inflicting on those who travel through that point.